in worst boss ever news. That's Bart. What? Damn. Just kidding. You're the worst boss ever, dude? Because mm -hmm. he punishes me every night. <laughs> Ew. Oh, Damn. A little too far. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's support. See that? That was support. That was like somewhere in between of like excitement and like that's cool and oh. <laughs> <laughs> Submitted by There Is No Wi Fi. Oh my god, I would die. Sorry. A billionaire dubbed America's worst boss. Is this about you? A billionaire? I would. <laughs> Just lost an $11 million harassment lawsuit. Well, a billionaire, that doesn't matter. Yeah, that's that, 10 bucks. That, 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 yeah. That's 11 bucks for him. I would love to be sexually harassed by a billionaire. Hell yeah. Ooh, I would just take a little bit of your money. 11 million? 11 million. I'll get that all day for a little. But it was sexual harassment. <sighs> What was done? Yeah. Oh, I need to hear God. I need to hear all the facts. If he kissed me on the ear and licked my ear hole, maybe I'll take that. I'm down with that. I'm okay. for sure down with that. It's pretty crazy though, because uh, I know of somebody who worked for a very, very popular company and she got sexually harassed by an executive, got brought it up, and for her she was gonna quit that job anyways or go somewhere else. So she what she did was they settled on a certain amount. When then she asked for a higher position above the person that sexually harassed them, and then she got placed in a higher position that person that fired her. And then she got a fat chunk of money and she stayed in the company. Oh, she stayed? Yeah. She was oh, like, good, because that was a problem, well, right? She's, like, she's kind of, yeah. she's like tough as nails. She doesn't give a fuck. She yeah, was like, yeah, well, I'm gonna make this person pay and I'm gonna get my money. Yeah. And so she just took her fat chunk of money, she got a higher position above that person, that person got fired. I'm super down with getting sexually harassed. For 11 million, I could be in the corner, smoking a vape pen, throwing fucking donut holes, and then a guy, my boss just comes and sticks his dick in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was like, where's this going? Like, the donut hole, his mouth is open, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> was you just blo blowing out the rings and everything just, is blurred? And the fucking ring is yeah. You just ring his dick? dick comes through. <laughs> it's not like the dick becomes really in focus. Like, yeah. what? 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 You can, really, you can be really special, like, you know, blow the, the O-rings and then tap it on the top so it turns into a heart on the person's <laughs> dick. <laughs> 11 million, dude. I'd be down with that. She just blackmail people with that easy. So this dude, his name is Elky David. Elky David? Like Elky Holic? Elky? Like alcoholic. Alcoholic. A-L-K-I. He's an Elky line. Yeah, so he is a billionaire heir. And his holding. Air. He's not even a billionaire yet. Wow. Ooh, he's no, no, got no. He balls. is. His net worth. He inherited the billion. Oh, he's an heir. Shit. He so already got it. Uh, it says that his withholdings include manufacturing, bodily, bottling plants, property, and shipping. Uh -huh. He also. But where? He Tycoon. also like it's a Coca-Cola bottling plants. Um, and he also um, founded Hologram USA, which is known for creating holograms Tupac, of dead Tupac. celebrities like Tupac Michael and Michael Jackson. Jackson. Oh. oh, this is one of them. Damn, that's really good. That's the only time I ever wish I went to Coachella. And the Daft Punk year, just mm -hmm. one year that Daft Punk went and I. Yeah, so this Ooh. is Elky David. Yeah, he's not bad looking. He's yeah, he's. Not he bad. looks like he's related to the Huxtables. Oh, like he looks like the dad. <laughs> the, uh, what's it called? Uh, Cliff Huxtable's mm -hmm. fucking dad. Bill Cosby? Bill Cosby's dad. Yeah, his dad. So he's 50 years old, in case you were wondering. And he sexually harassed somebody? The victim, she is... I'd rather be sexually harassed by him than Harvey Weinstein. Her name is Chastity. Oh, hello. And so she is claiming that he walks around, and he actually admitted this, that he walks around the office... With his dick out. In, just butt his, un naked. in his underwear. And <laughs> <laughs> that fool does that all the time! I know. I mean, I walked no. in here, he wasn't wearing pants! No! Evidence. Well, they just have to watch the previous five videos. Gotcha. Yeah. You were he naked the whole time. Uh, that's weird. Yeah, so then uh, he does that, and then he also admitted to playing porn for staff, and he's just saying that like, yeah. he's just having that's just, fun. That's just stupid. That's kind of weird. That is that's really just weird. That's just lack of common sense. He deserves to be. And so naked. she, so Chastity, who's 42 years old. She's 42? Yeah. What kind of 42 year old looks like that? My God. She claims that she was fired for refusing oh. to engage in sexual acts with him. Oh. Uh, man. But this dude, he's so out there Ballin. that I'm gonna just show oh, you oh. a video of his go. deposition and also an Inside Edition interview. Oh, that shit oh, crazy. Whoa, he turned albino. you and everything that you stand for. He's got an accent. Did you and you. He turned up for our interview in a $350,000 Rolls Royce convertible with a Doberman therapy dog in the passenger seat. I never, ever, ever have ever touched an employee of mine inappropriately. 
The only people I've ever touched inappropriately, I've married. <laughs> Dalton has two employees and often hops around his office without any pants. It's called entertainment, man. It's called having fun in the workplace. It's, it's, called, called, it's called, listen, it's called, but in California, it's called sexual harassment. Why are they standing so close to each other? No, it's not. Our Jim Murray he's wasn't intense. prepared for what happened He's in his face. You know what? Get dominant. your camera down. Get your camera down and then file a lawsuit. I'm just kidding. Ah! Oh, that's this guy knows TV. Yo, I fucking love this dude. I knew you guys would love it. I think I'm a fan now. I dude. Can do it. He's funny. Cause that made me feel like, oh shit, he about to do. Oh. I was like, this guy's a nutcase. He, he already is a nutcase. Fuck. But by the way, did he just admit to another crime? Cause I'm pretty sure it's also illegal to rape your wife. To rape your yeah. wife. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm 100% sure yeah. it's illegal. I rape my wife every <laughs> night cause I know it's appropriate. <laughs> yeah. I would have just been like, hey, someone should sue him for that too. I know. Get an extra 10 million. Wait, That's where my mind's at. He's like, wait, he can't rape me? The only person that says no, no every said, night is my wife, oh, but it's okay cause he's married. He I just, said I just touch her inappropriate. Touch inappropriate. Appropriately, that's what he said. You know what's yeah. crazy though is, you know, billionaires are just rich people in general or powerful people. They live in such a different world that their idea of what is normal and what is okay is completely different because they're surrounded by yes men and all that shit. They're they're surrounded by and equally well, crazy people. Well, you, you look at the, like the, yeah, yeah. the Robert Kraft thing. Like they're surrounded by gold diggers that are that are just like ready and willing to let them do what. Robert Kraft is the owner of the Patriots. Yeah. Okay. So oh, the day, yeah. the day they yeah. were playing against the Cardinals, I believe, in the playoffs, he went to that brothel. He went to the yeah. He went to the brothel yeah. in Florida, and I'm like, you're that we rich. Talk about it. Like, why don't you just, if you have that much money, order it to your room. Just get a prostitute. That's how yeah. Their realm of reality is completely off. Not not to justify any of their actions, but then they also live very unapologetically because yeah. rules don't weird. apply to him. No, there's no yeah. yeah, there's like I'll I fucking honestly, pay the yeah. million. Yeah, I don't I'll care. Fine. But it's also yeah. because he's not somebody who became rich due from coming up. He's an heir. So yeah. he was born yeah, into this too. So he's ten times worse. Yeah. He doesn't even know from the moment he was born, he just had billions of dollars. What do they what do they call that disease when you're too influenza or yeah. in affluenza? Affluenza. Affluenza. <laughs> influenza. Yeah, that's fucking flu. Yeah. <laughs> affluenza. Because he's walking around and he talks as if he's God, like he's untouchable. <laughs> yeah. So he doesn't understand right from wrong and all that stuff. Yeah. That and joke it, was hilarious though. <laughs> that was a good, it was a good punchline. He got me. He really, he got me really good. Yeah, well, he's wild. I definitely wouldn't want a boss, like he seems kind of obnoxious. But what I don't understand is like that 11 million is a drop in the hat for him, right? Oh, no, but he so, plans on like- Fighting for it? Yeah. There's a word, but I forgot. But yeah, so he plans on doing that. So he's like, she's not gonna get a cent. Well, that's kind of good though, because people like that need a check from time to time. They need a reality check that you can't be acting this way. And the only way to check them is in the wallet. Cause they're gonna be like, oh shit, okay, okay, okay. Let me back it up. But what about all the people that plan this kind of shit too? Like they, trap them? They trap them. Trap yeah, yeah, yeah. They trap them to do things like that so they can. But like, I feel like if you're getting trapped, you're already, you're, you're riding that line between. That's true. If if you're a if you're a sleaze ball if you're a sleaze ball you're gonna get caught. But these like, people have a team and a lawyer like on call. Like he's probably texting his lawyer all the time. You know that's like his best. Friend. He's going on like all the coke machines are in the back filling up the sodas and he's just like sitting there just watching porn, just <laughs> butt naked. Like, just, you know going at it. He's like here all the employees look at the porn I got on my projector. Grabs a coke bottle starts masturbating with <laughs> it. Well I think for this one it, she was working at the hologram thing. I don't know. Oh. So he was like, let's test my hologram penis out. I, I know. <laughs> oh my God. He's like, Does this work? Crazy. Does this look life size? He legit sounds out of touch though. Like he doesn't live yeah. at all whatsoever. It's so fascinating. Like he, he has God complex to the max. Well, I think if you're walking around the office in your underwear. And if you're a billionaire, I mean, you're pretty up there. You're surrounded by yes men. Yeah. You're not surrounded by anyone that's like, yo, put on some fucking pants. Like, if we tried that, we'd all get slapped in the face immediately. I mean, he's like one of us. We'd be like, what are you doing? He's trying to justify the porn to the fucking journal. I'm just having fun. It's like, called having fun I'm in the workplace. Yeah. I'm having fun, guys. It's not sexual. He goes, no, in California. He goes, no, it's not. Peel is the word. I just remembered. But yeah, he's I'm having fun. Yeah, yeah. If no, I masturbate in the corner and I don't let the cum touch you, we're okay. <laughs> like, well, no, but it's like Harvey Weinstein masturbating in that plant. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. did? Yeah, there's a story. You might want to check this because I don't know the facts. But there's like a story about he pinned a woman in the hallway of a restaurant. Like, none of this, by the way, makes sense to me. Made it a physical advancement. Obviously, she said no. He got too horny. Got too horny, yeah. started jerking off, and then like finished in a plant like that was in the hallway restaurant. So I'm like, my head's already going like, wow, you got some serious balls. Damn. And two, 
where is everybody? I hope it's not a yeah. fake plant. First, I was like, he just jerked off in 20 seconds flat. Some of these right. restaurants are really dark. Maybe he was trying to give the plant some nutrients. But if I'm with that girl, I'm like running, I'm running out of the restaurant. I'm sprinting out of the restaurant. Maybe he so catches he people so off guard. Oh, of course. He feels so powerful, it's like, It's just crazy, like people are just stupid. Oh, it's like a slice that shit off, Damn. dude. Damn. I wish, I wish he would masturbate in front. That's a weird statement. Yeah, that is, just stop. <laughs> But yeah, so I apparently mean, there's a different, um, so Chastity's former colleague named Elizabeth Taylor, she also- <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah, she Ooh. also alleges sexual harassment and wrongful termination, and she filed a lawsuit. This is not that fun. Her allegations are expected to go to trial in July. So, yeah. so he's going down. By the way, it's pro there's probably more than two. Oh, for sure. Fuck I yeah. hope they come out. It's so funny that he has an advisor that just didn't tell him, hey, you shouldn't be interviewed. <laughs> you know, he goes, know, right? I got this. He's like, I'm gonna take this. I never did anything, I just masturbated in front of him. He says you. that it was unfair and unjust judgment. He's like R. Kelly, but the billionaire version. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. R. Kelly is like, well, how old is 16? <laughs> I want to watch so many more interviews of this guy. I know, he's entertaining. I love watching people that are just fucking out of this world.